The Absa Cape Epic is often referred to as the Tour de France of mountain biking, and for good reason. This is the most prestigious off-road stage race in the world, attracting Olympic champions, world champions and national title holders. In its 19th incarnation, the Western Cape of South Africa is the host location offering spectacular views and some of the finest mountain bike trails on the planet. This year, the eight-day stage race covers 648 kilometers with 15,500 meters of vertical climbing. Today is stage three. It's a transition day from Hermanus to the Oak Valley Estate. Today's route traverses rugged trails nestled within pockets of manicured agriculture. The 100 brutal kilometers of riding starts off with a rolling profile, but a nasty bump at the end. There's a total climbing of 2,300 meters. On the start line in the elite men's category, Willia Pirelli Factory, Wout Allemann and Fabian Ravensteiner in third, five minutes off the pace. In second, the defending champions, Orbea Leert Speed Company, Georg Egger and Lukas Baum. And leading the race by three minutes and 15 seconds, Scott's Ram MTB Racing, the greatest mountain biker of all time, Nino Schurter and his fellow Swiss teammate, Andre Frischnecht. The start gun goes for what is expected to be a hectic day of racing. There is time to be made in the overall, and there are teams that are yet to perform at this Cape Epic. The yellow jerseys will be looking to control the race and not let Egger and Baum gain in the general classification. Currently third overall, Alemann and Rappenstein along with the Canyon Northwave team drop back at the 47 km mark before the big climb at Hohook. They lose 50 seconds on the leaders. At the sharp end of the race, it's the usual suspects, Schurter and Frischnecht, Egger and Baum, Beers and Blevins, and the chasing pack of Willi Pirelli, Canyon Northwave, Italian friends, Bulls Heroes, Buff Megabo and Bulls Mavericks make some ground as they reach the dirt roads of the Hoog Pass. It's imperative that the chasers catch the leaders before the single track as there are some big climbs to come. They bridge the gap and at the 64 km water point it's chaos as the top 16 riders all jostle for their personal water bottles. Baum stops at the front of the station and catches out Schurter, who is expecting all the pros to go to their support teams. Towards the top of the big climb at Tiefkopf, the pack is split into two. In the lead group, Schurter is again setting a blistering pace, followed by Obia Leert Speed Company, Toyota Specialized 91 and Willia Pirelli. In the chase group, Paga Eurostil in the red African leaders jerseys and 2022 contenders Canyon Northwave. As the team's summer team cop disaster strikes Baum and Egger, they have a puncture and it needs to be inflated before they hit the downhill. They lose vital seconds. On the Toyota tough descent, Schurter again leads the charge. With incredible bike skills, he makes his rugged African terrain look like a walk in the park. Frischnecht has the skills to follow. Alemann and Ravensteiner, Beers and Blevins follow close behind. After 3 hours and 20 minutes, the defending champions finally catch up with the leaders, but they have used up vital energy resources. Now it's all to play for with 20 kilometers to go. On the last steep climb, Frischneck mismanages his efforts, Schurter slows the pace and nurses his partner. Specialized go to the front with a whiff of the finish line. Beers pulls away and plays the tactical game with his partner. Clevens is a world-class sprinter and it's the second team member's time that counts. After four hours of hard racing and Beers crosses the finish line first, looks for his partner Blevins who hits the gas and catches him. Another stage win for Beers and Blevins. Egger and Baum follow them just 1.4 seconds behind and Alemann and Rabenstein are 2.1 seconds off the win. Overall leader Scott Sram MTB Racing missed out on the podium today but roll in in fourth place. Rabenstein and Alemann celebrate their third place ahead of the defending champions Egger and Baum who have been on the podium every day. Beers and Blevins managed to secure their second consecutive stage win. Overall leaders Schurter and Frischneck retain their lead in the general classification with a lead of 3 minutes and 12 seconds. On the women's elite start line are Efficient Infinity Insure with Kim Laporte and Vera Lossa, third in the overall. Second are 91 Songo Specialized with defending champions Sofia Gomez Viafan and Katharina Nash. And the leaders by five and a half minutes, the South African duo of Amy Wakefield and Candice Lill for E4.net Seattle Coffee Co. The women leave Hermanus for the last time. Stage three is a transitional stage and the conditions are perfect for the Western Cape race. The riders enjoying the rolling fields and stunning single tracks before the business end of the race starts to take hold. Lil and Wakefield and Orange are setting the pace today. They have managed their efforts over the last two stages and have some fuel left in the tank. The South African duo have had success in this section of the course in the Wines to Wales race. 
Two hours and 45 minutes into the race, Team 91 Songo specialized and E4 Seattle Coffee Co. make their move and manage to drop efficient Infinity Insure. Vera Law says having one of those difficult days. After a win on stage two, she's paying the price. Lil and Wakefield drive the pace and are showing world-class skills on the trails. This local duo are giving the international riders a run for their money. Nearing the top of the ho hoop climb, Gomez Viafan and Nash from 91 Songo Specialized are finally dropped. Nash is incredibly experienced in bike racing, but this is her first Cape Epic, and it's a technical one. The leaders in orange smell blood in the water and grasp the moment. Now is the time to take advantage of the weakness and to add to the five and a half minute lead in the overall standings. 91 Songo Specialized keep their cool and ride their own race. There are still four days of racing to go. Lil and Wakefield cross the line in just under five hours for a well-deserved win. Gomez Viafan and Nash limit the damage and concede three and a half minutes to the winners, but they increase their gap to third as Loss and Lacourt roll in eight minutes and 42 seconds after the winners. On the podium for today's stage three, we see efficient Infinity Insure, Losser and Lacourt in third. On the second step, 91 Songo specialized, Sofia Gomez Viafan and Katarina Nash. And today's winners, E4.net Seattle Coffee Co, Candice Lil and Amy Wakefield. They will remain in the orange leader's jerseys with a lead of just over 8 minutes and 20 seconds.